Hello everyone and I've got something new to show you. This is a toy plastic gun. Um, it's most supposed to look like a Glock 21. It's made by Yu Daoli, which I think is a Chinese company. Made in China. And there's no battery, no gas, no electricity. It's just spring loaded. Let's have a look at it. So you get one sheet of small instructions. Then you get this, which is fairly realistic looking, isn't it? I think this is a holder to put the bullets in. And this is the model plastic model gun. Let's take it out. Wow, it looks. I know very little about guns. It looks very real to me. Look at that. It's got a sort of oily sheen to it. Um, matte black. And it's a very cheap toy. I stress again, it's just a toy. Now, no bullets come out of here. Um, by the way, these are the very, very golden bullets. 8, 16, 24, 32 of these. And two magazines. It says on here Glock 21. Then it says 9 by 19 now, 9 by 19 refer, in my research, refers to a parabellum, rimless, centre fire, tapered cartridge. But the Glock 21 uses a 0.45 ACP ammunition, so that's apparently incorrect. Um, there are various fake switches and sights. What does work is this button, and that releases the Oh, there's the third magazine. Now I will go about taking out the bullets from the plastic template. These are mega gold coloured. I'll put a picture on the screen of Glock ammunition, which does look fairly gold actually. And I'll put on a picture, put up a picture of a real Glock 21 and it looks very similar to this. If I hold that there, okay, and so this is what it looks like when you take out all 36 bullets. Now, um, in a real Glock 21, the magazine capacity is 13 rounds, not 12 like here. Uh, a real Glock 21 has a four and a half inch barrel. They're produced by an Austrian manufacturer named after the company's founder and head engineer, Gaston Glock, who died recently, an Austrian man. Now, this is a complete plastic toy. No bullets come out. All it does, it allows you to experience blowback so that when you pull the trigger these shells will fly out here simulating the empty casing flying out of a real glock that's all it does when i bought it i thought you could actually shoot bullets out of here but you can't um it's quite expensive as well it costs 3000 yen which is about 21 us dollars and i'm indoors now obviously i wouldn't you can't walk around in Japan outside with a fake gun because obviously people won't know it's fake and you would cause havoc. I did some research. I'm not a lawyer by any means, but it seems uh, you cannot open carry a BB gun in California. Um, there's a penal code 12556 PC that says it's against the law to openly display or expose any imitation firearm in a public place. 
Then I looked at Texas and it says air weapons or BB guns are not characterised as firearms under Texas law. So it's not an issue to carry it with a valid reason to do so. You don't need a special licence to do so. So it seems to vary state by state in the US. In the UK, it's an offence to have an air weapon in a public place without a reasonable excuse. And it's an offence to possess an imitation firearm in a public place unless the person can prove they have lawful authority or a reasonable excuse. So this toy gun is strictly for indoor use. Perhaps if you did cosplay and you were going as a policeman or something, that might be seen as a reasonable excuse. Part of a costume. I don't know, just a guess. Now the other thing I checked was... Um, believe it or not, you can Narita Airport in Japan, you can take a toy gun as long as it's in your checked baggage in the hold of the aircraft. You can't wander around the aircraft with a fake gun. But in America, it seems to be prohibited to take on an airplane an imitation gun, even in checked baggage. Blowback is a system of self-loading firearms where they obtain energy from the motion of the cartridge case as it's pushed to the rear by expanding gas created by the ignition of the propellant charge. I think that means when you shoot a real Glock there's expanding gas that pushes the next bullet up and the old casing flies out of here. All right that's enough background let's try and load these fake plastic bullets into a magazine oh I wonder I could put them in here right that's just to hold them I suppose I found you can separate this little square item but um and the bullets fit nicely on there but then you can't close the lid oh you can you can oh I see so that's a case for carrying for carrying them isn't it I see. Now it says here with a magazine, uh, you load them like this. I have no idea. How do they go in? Um, I'm guessing here's the spring that you can pull down and I'm guessing they go in like, like that. Sideways, lying sideways. Let's try that seems to work Whoa. so pull that right down and load it up right that seems to be full and then push it in here wow it's a satisfying realistic sound isn't it Okay, here goes. Okay, so this is to experience blowback. And they should come, the casing should come out here. Let's give it a go. Nothing. Okay, I've reset the magazine in this way. Sorry, in this way. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh yeah, oh two came out, usually none come out, oh and the gun recoils quite nicely, look at that, you can feel quite a push on it, that's interesting, I think it's jammed, it's empty, and once you've shot that you pick up the pieces and you can go again, completely reusable. You get the magazine and put the bullet in. So this little bit sticking up, you put the bullet towards there and it drops in. And pull the spring down, repeat, like that. Now that pull the spring down, put a bullet in. Spring down, bullet in. Okay, I've loaded three magazines, each one with eight bullets in. I think the correct term is rounds, right? Each with eight rounds in it. 
So let's have a go. Ready? I'll try and go a bit faster this time. Wow. The trouble is, ah, they get jammed like that. And mult multiple cartridges come out at the same time. Release the magazine. Another magazine. Oh, wow. You have to be careful putting the magazine in. I'll be more, more careful with this one. <laughs> it's quite fun. It's a lot of hassle picking up the entry empty cartridges. Okay, three more magazines. I'll try and do it a bit more slowly this time, a bit more carefully. Lovely crunching sound when the magazine goes in. Here goes. Ah, it's got jammed, look. But that's quite realistic, I think. They do, in real guns, they get jammed like that, don't they? Another one got jammed. That's empty. Push that button there to release the magazine. That action, it, the sliding action is very good. Another magazine in. Let's go. <laughs> wow, that one got jammed. I'm out. Last magazine. Whoa, yeah, that can happen if you carelessly put the magazine in. I've just realised, I think I was putting the rounds in the wrong way round. They should, the bullets should be facing out. So I'll try it like that. Let's try again. When it, the barrel's like this, you turn there to reset it. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's much better. So it's like this. Thumbnail on that slide to pull the spring down. Round goes in this way. Like that. Okay, so I've got three loaded magazines again. Let's go. Three loaded magazines. The bullets are the right way round this time. Release the magazine. If it's stuck like that, you push there. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Pretty realistic. Ah, oh, it's jammed. Okay, let's have a, a little look at the gun in more detail. So, as I said, a matte black finish, which is quite realistic. Um, there's this switch, I suppose, lever when it's jammed open like that you pull push that down and that closes the sliding mechanism this is where the empty casings come from um there's this which is i think is the safety right it's supposed to be the safety switch uh this is the magani magazine release mechanism you just push that in and the own weight the magazine's own weight it just drops out inside you can see the spring that pushes the plastic rounds up it goes in with a very satisfying sound um, comfortable to hold I sh I'm guessing it's the real size of a real Glock okay I researched a real Glock the length is 20 point a real Glock 21 
the length is 20.5 centimeters now this is the only ruler I could find on this pen knife but it will do so that's seven centimeters so let's say roughly seven 14 to there um, 19 oh I wonder if they measure to that point it looks like it's the real length a real Glock the width is 3.5 centimeters ah now that seems to be only two and a half really so it's thinner than a real Glock and the height is 14 centimeters a real Glock this one is 7 14 yeah so I would say roughly it's the same length and height but slightly thinner than a real Glock 21 you push that down the slide goes back you depress the trigger and this slide sliding mechanism goes back and it goes back with quite some force it's quite impressive that this side so I've just found that's the safety switch on a real Glock this one doesn't move and this is a rail for attaching a flashlight this is called the ejection port and this is the slide this is the rear sight this is the front sight I'm guessing that's the hammer but I don't actually know this is the magazine release so I'll just give you a close-up look of the the whole gun completely made of plastic obviously cheap plastic it's just a toy gun okay that's all for this video hope you enjoyed it yay see you later yeah.